Today, let's talk about the importance of game length and how it can make or break a game. Game length in general is mostly dependent on which genre the game is on, and most gamers probably know that most RPGs, in fact most, tend to be brimming with content and have hours upon hours of content like The Witcher 3. While there are exceptions where the uh, sequel to the Star Wars RPG game, um, The Old Republic, was mostly five to six hours long, which is not really the norm compared to most RPGs today, but yeah, it's it, from my part, it's a very disappointing sequel. Now, some may say longer games are better or shorter games are better because some don't really have a lot of time on their hands and aren't really into gaming as they were used to because some have responsibilities. And that's why some people tend to cling on towards shorter games like shooters, which is why they tend to be very popular because not only do they have short campaigns, they're mostly popular for their multiplayer because you can easily play in short bursts, unlike with RPGs. A lot of RPGs tend to require a lot of time and dedication, which is not what a lot of other people have. Like most RPGs, they tend to have a lot of mechanics, which can be intimidating to some gamers. I remember playing game one RPG at a young age and getting stuck at one point because I couldn't understand it, probably because I didn't bother reading the instructions, but yeah, it seemed very overwhelming to me at the time. And like I said earlier, some don't have the time to t take the time to learn a game and have those mechanics because nowadays, since it's blown up and it's become more popular, games tend to sometimes follow a formula. We begin to notice that more and more, more games seem very more similar to others. They probably have a level up system where you upgrade your character, there's scavenging, and there's your typical third-person mechanics and tend to have the same controls and the same functioning camera and it's not like the days where some games experimented with certain game mechanics and yeah not many games tend to be very experimental nowadays mostly this is happening in AAA gaming and you see a lot more experimentation in the indie crowd but that's another topic for another video the question I like to bring up is which kind of game would you prefer? Would you prefer a much shorter game that could be easily beaten in 5-6 to six hours? Or would you prefer a robust game brimming with content and many mechanics that you have to learn and takes hours upon hours to play? In my personal opinion, it can work both ways, depending on the game. It really depends on what you do with your time. It doesn't matter if the game is long or short, because it really depends on what the game does with its time and how long you're playing it. Only in Isolation was criticized for its long game length, even though it had many great aspects to it, and I can understand that criticism for it being too long, but I can somewhat understand from a career standpoint, as Angry Joe said in his review, you don't want to take anything away from your baby. You, you know what I mean? So I can understand that, but then again, I can somewhat understand where ga some gamers are coming from with the gang length. The Order 1886 was criticized for being short, unlike Alien Isolation, which was being criticized for being long. While both games are have trouble with pacing and game with their game lengths, but Alien Isolation, at the very least, has things going for it. it has the alien AI and it has style and much like ordering much like order 1886 one is criticized for going too long and one is for is criticized for being too short like I said earlier it depends on what you do in that time span will you remember a long game that was boring and unfun from beginning to end or will you remember a game that was five to six hours long that had fun game mechanics and extremely addictive gameplay and made you want to replay it again and again so yeah the whole game length debate isn't really i don't think it's really being understood and i don't think quantity should mean a game should be costing sixty dollars just because a game is five to six hours doesn't mean it can't cost sixty dollars i don't think 
Like, if the game's enjoyable from beginning to end, I got my money's worth, okay? And it doesn't matter if the game is long or short. It, it really depends on whether or not I enjoy it. Some of you may prefer one or the other for personal reasons, but I still don't think a game being short or long makes or breaks a game. It all comes down to what you do with your time playing that game. My name is Triage, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.